Welcome to this chapter of the introduction of the JAT code JF-017E. This chapter is a brief introduction of the unit, including vehicle application, identification, and basic function. My name is Jared Bourne. I'll be your host for this course. It's a great day to fix transmission, so let's get started. JATCO makes the JF-017E CVT transmission and is used in the Nissan Infinities in the United States. It can get confusing with all the different names uh, that are used for the different CVTs. Uh, this one uh, has the RE0F10E, RE0F10H, and RE0F10J. Uh, these are the numbers that uh, Nissan uses. The JF-017E was introduced in the United States around 2013 in the Nissan Altima with a 3.5 engine. The JF-017E is what they consider a heavy-duty version uh, CVT. Uh, this model is uses a chain instead of a belt, and it also actually has a tow haul button in some models. Uh, transmission has the same layout and operation as most of the CVTs. It uses a standard converter design with a lock-up clutch. Uh, the transmission has a forward clutch pack, a reverse brake, along with one simple planet set. To make the ratio changes, it uses the pulley set with the primary and secondary pulleys and a chain that links them together. The transmission has a smooth ratio change. Lockup is applied at very low mile per hour, usually before uh, 10 miles per hour. Here's a current list of the JF-017E applications with the Nissan names. Uh, you'll see here that the models that uh, mainly use are the Altima, the Pathfinder, QX60, the Maxima, the Murano, and the Quest, uh, all during the years of 2013 to 2018 with a 3.5 Lear. Tag information and ID. So where the two case halves come together on the top of the transmission towards the front of the transmission, there's a, on the case is, is some letters stamped. It'll have two rows. The top row is a, uh, what you need to look at. This one was a, a 3WX3D, and it was uh, stamped in the case half and also was on the range switch too. This one we uh, searched on Google and we found it was a 2014 Nissan Pathfinder S-Type all-wheel drive with a 3.5 liter. Here's the different models um, with different tag numbers and the ratio uh, differences and the engine size. Uh, as you see, there is a couple different uh, types of ratios. Final drive ratio is of 4.677 is uh, one type and the other type is 5.577 is another fi final drive ratio to find the uh, jacko cvt transmission information from the tag number uh, best luck i've had is just google uh, the number so like put 3x or 3wx 0a and then put like nissan cvt behind it and just enter that in Google and then what you'll find is many of the factory sites will uh, pop up and give you the transmission part numbers and you can kind of track it backwards from there what vehicle it fits once you know what vehicle it fits then you can kind of backtrack that go to like pro demand and all data and enter, enter the vehicle information and then go to the um, specification page usually and that will have the ratio for that uh, tag number. CVT uh, transmission have the easiest supply charts in my opinion. Um, to get reverse, you have your reverse brake drum, or reverse brake clutch on. To get forward, you have the forward brake or the forward clutch um, on. In forward and reverse, power flow is through the primary and secondary pulley. The chain links the two pulleys, and power goes out the final drive. Solenoid application chart here. 
the select solenoid is used to um, turn on and off. It's used to turn the clutch engagement. Excuse me. So the the safe way, the select solenoid is used for the engagement feel going into reverse and f and drive. Um, primary and secondary solenoid are both used to control the ratio uh, in the driver in the forward range. Uh, locked up solenoid is applied roughly 10 miles per hour. And the line pressure solenoid uh, controls line pressure in all ranges. Sensor ID and some locations here. So we're on, over here on the left side, top of the transmission here you have your range switch. Sometimes that tag number is actually on that range switch. Up front here, uh, off the input shaft, you have your input uh, speed sensor. On the back side here, we have a primary speed sensor. As you see, this one here is broke. Um, always take this one out of the transmission when you put the tranny on the bench. Easily uh, to roll around on the bench and you will break that primary speed sensor. And then over here off the differential, you have the secondary speed sensor which is your uh, output speed sensor. So the warmer is removed here. The, the return line is the uh, top front one. And send line or the out is the bottom uh, hole there. And this one is the style that has the uh, thermal cooler, so it's a warmer. It uh, has an antifreeze from the engine, uh, goes into the little warmer, and then the transmission fluid itself, uh, it just goes through the warmer. Pressure tap ID. Here you have the line pressure tap, a forward clutch pressure tap, reverse uh, brake pressure tap, and the primary pulley. TCC release, and then the secondary uh, pulley is up in the back ca uh, cover. We'll go over that later in specification uh, folder also. Shifter positions, park, and just like all the other transmissions, park pull locks the output shaft. Um, and reverse, you have Standard just like any other transmission, it operates in the ro uh, rearward direction at a reduced gear ratio. Neutral, there's no power flow, um, nothing's connected, no clutches are on. Uh, engine can be started, of course, and the vehicle is going to be pushed. In the drive position, this is where you want to put the shifter when going forward in most driving conditions. It's an automatic ratio change. Uh, the torque converter clutch is operated normally and the best fuel economy. It does have a low position. Um, some will actually have a tap shift position too, but the low position may be used to use going down a small incline, something along those lines, uh, or creeping around, uh, creeping around and not wanting the ratio change. Uh, tow haul mode. Um, this increases the uh, engine RPM the ratio is limited so it doesn't go too far overdriven and engine braking is possible. Here's a nice exploded view of the uh, JF017E. We'd like to say thank you for uh, this exploded view, whatever it takes. They're the one that made this one possible. As you see Here's the input shaft and the forward drum. The balance piston forward clutch pack assembly right here. Here's your reverse clutch. It goes over here to the other side. Planetary setup, reverse piston. All goes into the uh, back case half. And then over on this side here, you have your, your pulley, your secondary pulley. Here's your primary pulley, the chain and guides, that all, all going to go into your rear cover. And we'll talk about that later on disassembly and uh, rebuilding section of this uh, uh, transmission. 
This, this will conclude our chapter on introduction of the JAT code JF 017 CVT transmission. We want to thank you for your participating in our virtual training solutions powered by ATRA. Until next time, let's keep fixing transmissions together.